Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and do not trust me 100% on this, but I think I've almost got it figured out. Maybe one of my math buddies will chime in. This is a two inch by two inch circle cut out of paper and taped to the glass. Looks like an egg. This is a two inch circle that has been cut out with the envelope tool. And I think it looks pretty much like a circle on a tapered glass. So I have my tapered glass, it's 10.5 or 10, 10 inches across the circumference. The bottom is 8.5, it's 4.6 tall. I'm gonna take a two point line and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, holding down the control key, I'm gonna find out what that angle is. I'm using my angular dimension tool and I'm gonna go from there to there and I get 9.46 of an angle. Let me zoom in here for a second. That's a 9.46 of an angle. So remember that. I'm gonna take a two point line and I'm going to move it and I'm gonna hit P and put it in the center of the page. Now I'm gonna change my nudge distance to one inch because we're gonna put a two inch circle. So I need to take my new line, control D and move it over one inch. Take and move that over one inch. So now I've got a space for a two inch circle. And I used, you know, we're working with two different measurements, but the center of the cup is 9.25. So two inches would go in there, and I'm not gonna figure out the math, how many times two inches would go in there. I'm just gonna say it's gonna go in there four times. Later on, I might do another video to, to do that. So I'm gonna take this line and I'm gonna double click on it, I'm gonna move the rotation to the right there. I'm gonna bring in a calculator, 9.46 divided by four is 2.365 of an angle. I'm gonna 2.365 of an angle and I'm angling it in. Now we can do a lot of things here, but I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate and I'm gonna mirror it. I'm gonna take the new mirror and move it over to my two inch area. Let's get rid of this measurement. I'm gonna put my circle in the center of the page. Now it is gonna shorten it up a little bit. So we could, there's a number of things we could do. Let's change our nudge factor to like 0.25 and let's nudge this angle over, whoop, too far. One, two, five, nudge it over just a little bit. That's pretty good. Nudge that over just a little bit. Now we're gonna take another two point line and hit P, put it, put it in the center of the page. Let's get rid of our indexing line. And now let's move this to the top. Now we're gonna change our nudge factor to two inches. Control D and move it down. This should be our envelope shape. So what I'm gonna do is take the paint, uh, Smart Fill tool and fill in that new envelope shape. I'm gonna left click, right click. I'm gonna turn this into a fill. I'm right click, left click. And I'm gonna go up here and get effects and get this envelope tool and I'm gonna create a new envelope shape and I'm gonna put it in, in that shape. And you see what we got? We've got an oblong circle. Now to make this work, you need to mirror the opposite, well, it doesn't matter if you're gonna cut it out on paper, mirror the opposite direction. Let's left, left click, right click, and let's hit P. Because, and, and cut it out of paper, I just, I've done it one time, that was my shape. And I'm pretty sure if we look on the cup that I did have to flip it, you, you might wanna check that. I shouldn't really have done this video until I checked that out. But you have a, you can see how there's more space up here than down here. 
because this is going slower and this is going faster. If that's what it's all about, maybe one of my math friends will key in and figure out the different angle, but that looks pretty good. That looks like a circle way much better than, better than that. So this is different than the formula for working on just a cylinder. This is a tapered cup. I've done a couple of videos on there and I think this is the best one. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for